Oh my goodness, it's here, it's here. Hi friends, I am beyond thrilled to share with you the very first shipment of pre-orders for my long-awaited sticker books. I wanted you to be among the first to see a full flip through and the first to preview a process video where I show you the colorful bits of joy in action. Introducing fun stickers for your everyday life. This project has been on my heart for a long time and I'm over the moon to announce the launch of our pre-order, a true labor of love years in the making. Now I know some of you mentioned that you missed out on the pre-order of Archer and Olive notebooks and planners, so I really don't want you to miss out on this one. They are limited edition, so once they are sold out, we won't be making more. We're also offering an exclusive bonus, a hand-lettered vinyl sticker not available anywhere else. It can go on your water bottle and serve as a happy reminder. This is your chance to be one of the first to get these sticker books into your hands so you can start playing. On the back, it says craft a life you love, embrace daily delights, featuring 30 pages of curated and original designs on matte, clear, and wood-free paper. Ideal for adding joy to your journals, planners, and scrapbooks. From cheerful quotes to playful illustrations, let these stickers brighten every moment. If you enjoy my creative style and positive outlook, these stickers are going to be a perfect fit for you. And yes, I encourage you to use them, which is what I was so motivated to do after seeing this first page. So I had to grab my planner, my Hobonichi, and my memory planner, and I decided I wanted to use this home sweet home sticker down here, but I didn't want to stick it directly onto the page. I wanted a little backup or backing foundation instead of using watercolor or anything. I just took a little tear out of this from paper play and I'm placing it down here with a glue stick. That way I can have a little base to separate the sticker from the page. There we go, home sweet home. Now looking through, I really want to fill in the blanks. I got so excited to use this that I was just trying to find places to put these stickers. Let me know in the comments if you have a hard time using up stickers because you want to save them and collect them. That's okay too. I don't blame you at all, but I do want to encourage you to use the stickers. Each design comes in two versions, one on wood-free paper, which is what I have here in my hand, and one on matte clear. So you could technically collect one and use one, or better yet, grab two sticker books for yourself. This clear sticker peeled like butter. I wish I could explain it to you. You'll have to experience it for yourself. This is the little washer and dryer that we had to do a lot of laundry when we got home from our trip. So that's what I'm putting down here. That stamps washi tape is off of a present that somebody in Japan gave me. Now I'm going to show you how I layered up this page in my Archer and Olive journal. You've probably seen this technique that I like to use. I enjoy making marks with watercolors to get a foundation onto the paper. And it's also a great way to start something so that you don't feel intimidated by the blank page. I've taken pieces, scraps from paper play. I don't like to waste anything. And now it's going to get a squeeze of gouache. And I'm using this fun little tool that I have linked below to spread it around. It does feel pretty saturated though, so I'm going to dilute it with a little bit of water on my brush. And look at how nice that spreads out. Oh, I love how that color turned out. And this one was so concentrated, but it looks really nice after I added the water with the brush. It's just playing around, making marks, taking that denim piece from paper play and giving it a home. Now I'm flipping through the sticker book once again to finish this whole layout, basically by using stickers. And this is my favorite way to do creative journaling. When I get new supplies, I'm so eager to just use them. I used to be one of those people who collected supplies instead of using them right away, but now I'm a strong proponent of empowering you and strongly suggesting that you use your supplies. The time is now. We have so many ideas in our heads and it's up to us to carve out the time to get creative. This way of art journaling or creative journaling or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't even really need a name, 
but I realize that if I don't do something to express myself creatively, I really get stuck. I don't feel the same. I don't feel like my happy self. And people will notice, look at these matte clear stickers. Oh, it's so good. It's so, so good. So this one says, this is just the beginning and I'm trying to find a place for it. And my first thought was, oh, I have to introduce that green color, but I have it over here, so it's gonna go right there. I love that you can see through the clear stickers and it has a really beautiful matte texture. I know it's hard to explain, but hopefully you can visually get the idea. And I know not all of you are going to want these sticker books or pre-order them, but that's okay. I hope that you still feel encouraged and inspired to get out your supplies to create something because creativity is so sweet, right? Understanding that this is just the beginning, the time is now, I feel like we're entering a whole new era, or at least I am, in this beautiful season that I'm in, and I feel very open-minded, open-hearted. I want to embrace the journey and use supplies that light me up and not really worry about the end result so much and not be concerned with making mistakes, going easier on myself, giving myself grace. Maybe these are all words of encouragement that you need to hear too so that you can really get out your supplies and find joy in the journey, find joy in the journaling, find joy in the process. I'm looking through the stickers and really trying to decide. I included two of these because I know that some people will want to have the face facing left or perhaps the face facing right. I am trying to, oh, look, I'm going to move this. So I peeled it up and it didn't ruin the page at all. So look at that. If it's in the location that you didn't want, peel it up right away and you should be okay. It depends on the paper that you're using it on, but take the leap. The nice thing about having the designs on different papers meaning the matte clear and the wood free paper is that I changed my mind. I saw the clear one and I decided that I wanted to use the paper one instead and it's perfectly placed right there. As I'm flipping through the book, I have the biggest smile on my face because I've been working on these designs for quite some time. If I'm remembering right, I think that the manufacturer and I started talking over four years ago trying to make something happen and I wasn't quite ready because I really didn't want to do the fulfillment part of it. For some reason, I think that after shipping out tens of thousands of t-shirts, I had a bad memory of that and so I didn't want to do that again, but we found a good solution. I'm trying to line up this sticker with the top of the page and you can see that I peeled it up and nothing was damaged to the paper. So. I love that you're able to quickly change your mind if you happen to stick it down and you want to remove it and maybe place it somewhere else. So they are permanent, but they give you a little bit of leeway to put it elsewhere if you change your mind. And guess what? You can totally change your mind. I love how this has turned out. I hope you do too. I hope you enjoyed seeing the process. Now I'm gonna do my journaling and I'll share the final page with you. My favorite part is seeing what you all create or seeing what revelations you may have had through just watching the videos, even if you have none of my products, it's okay. I love hearing from you. I hope you feel inspired to go where your dreams take you. I cannot wait to see what you do with the sticker book. Thank you so much for watching. And look what just came in, another batch of pre-orders. So we'll be getting them out very soon. Thanks as always for watching and for your kind words and support. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you soon.